This is New Hope of Clarkston. It's my church. Um, I've been a member here for yeah, close to 15 years now. I've been uh, playing with computers and you know using technology for most of my life. You know, it kind of comes secondhand to me. I mean, or, yeah, it's pretty easy, and I I really enjoy doing it. So when the ability for me to work on the tech team here at church came up, then you know it was something I kind of jumped at. After a few months, the pastor approached me and asked me if I'd like a title, you know, being the tech director, and then kind of, you know, build a team around that. My role is to work with the pastor on the development of the order of service every week. I put together the slides for all the songs, all the worship services. I do background music. I do all the projections and stuff that go out into the lobby. I do all the sound checks. I do all the uh, wiring for all the sound. And then I'm on the church council. The worship service is what really sets the stage for God to be able to work in people's lives during a service. And for me, the most important thing that I have to deal with is not being a distraction. So that could mean that I gotta make sure the sound is right, lyrics are right on the screen, you know, that things are happening at the right times because it allows people then to, to get into the spirit and allows people to worship without having any sort of distractions. Without the technology to have good live streaming and without the technology to have good videos and, and good ways to post audio messages, you know, you're missing out on engaging people. You're missing out on capturing people who are looking and, and seeking to find a church home. People nowadays are going to church websites and they're looking at messages, they're looking at videos that have been posted, they're looking at the things that the church is saying and the things that the church are doing. And so I think it's very important for us to realize that as we build technology more and more into our services, it's gonna allow us to hit and, and touch more people's lives. My whole life, my church life anyway, I, I've, I tend to drift. So like I'll be, I'll go to church really faithfully for a year or so and then I'll kind of drift away for a while and it might be another six or eight months before I'm in church again and, and, and I've done that my whole life. I've kind of cycled in and out. I've never, you know, had any problems with my relationship with God, but it's always been my participation in church kind of drifts in and out. So when I was able to step into this role and it kind of forced me to come to church, <laughs> I had to be here because if I wasn't here, no, there wasn't going to be anything on the screens. and so. I am more engaged now in a service than I've ever been in my life because I have to read every word for the songs. I have to put up all the slides for the scriptures. I have to read all of that. I'm so engaged in what's going on during the service now, much, much more than I've ever been in my entire life. So this has really given me the ability to um, get a lot closer in my walk with God and, and, and to really engage a lot more in church. And it's really helped me grow a lot.